Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm back with another fall inspired recipe and you guys are going to love this one. I'll be making my maple glazed pumpkin spice eclairs and these are so good. I love everything about them. I'm going to start out with a spiced pate au dough. I'm actually going to add some nutmeg and cinnamon directly into that dough. Then we're going to make a pumpkin spice whipped cream filling and then glaze them with a maple glaze. You guys are going to love all the different flavors here. They come together so well and it's just the ultimate fall dessert. For the pate au dough, you'll need one cup of sifted flour and to that I'm going to add half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix that all together and then set that aside until we're ready to add the flour. Into a medium-sized saucepan, I'm going to add in half a cup of unsalted butter and let that butter melt completely. I'm also going to add in one cup of water. Cook the water and butter over high heat. Once that butter is melted and the mixture comes to a boil, it's time to add the dry ingredients. I'm going to add all the flour and spices in at once and then whisk this together and it should come together into a ball. Then transfer the dough into a mixing bowl and allow it to cool for about 10 minutes until it's just warm to touch and now it's time to add the eggs. I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. and then transfer the dough into a large pastry bag tipped with a star tip. And today I'm using tip number 8FT. Make sure you pack in that dough into the pastry bags without any air pockets. You'll need to line a large baking sheet with a silicone mat like this one or with parchment paper. And now it's time to pipe these eclairs. And my eclairs are ready to go into my preheated oven. I've set it to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll need to bake these for 10 minutes at that temperature, then turn that temperature down to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for another 30 to 35 minutes. Do not open the oven door so they don't fall flat and you wanna bake them until they're nice, rich, golden brown color on the outside. And then just take them out and let them cool completely on a wire rack. While my eclairs are cooling, I'm going to get started on that pumpkin spice filling. I have one third cup of softened cream cheese, and to that I'm going to add a third cup of pumpkin puree. Then add in about an eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg, it's just a sprinkle, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And for some added flavor, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of maple syrup extract. And then give this mixture a good whisk until you have a uniform and smooth mixture. And into a separate mixing bowl, I'm going to add in one cup of chilled heavy cream and one cup of confectioner's sugar. And then mix the sugar and the cream together on medium to high speed until you get stiff peaks. Once you get a light and fluffy whipped cream, go ahead and add that cream cheese and pumpkin mixture. And then I'm gonna just whisk it again for about a minute until I get a nice and fluffy cream. And the final thing that we need to prepare is that maple glaze. I have about a cup and a half of confectioner's sugar in here. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of some cream, tablespoon of some maple syrup. Now the amounts of the syrup and the cream that you add will depend on how thick or thin you want the syrup, uh, the glaze to be. So just give that a whisk and then add more of each as this comes together. I added approximately a quarter cup of maple syrup, two tablespoons of heavy cream, and I absolutely love this consistency. It's going to be perfect as a glaze. All right, so my eclairs are completely cold. I have my glaze done. I have my pumpkin spice filling all ready to go. Now I transferred the filling into a pastry bag, and today I'm using Wilton tip number 230. It's a filling tip. You can fill these from the side, from the bottom. You can cut them in half and pipe uh, filling right in the middle. I'm just gonna insert that piping tip into the eclair and then pipe these full of that delicious pumpkin filling. It's so good. And once you've filled your eclairs, go ahead and dip them into that maple glaze. Sink them in about halfway, and then swirl off any extra glaze. 
and set the eclairs onto a wire rack to allow that glaze to drip off if there's any extra. And for some extra garnish, you could sprinkle on some gold sprinkles. Or you can also add some melted uh, dark chocolate or white chocolate. And these eclairs turned out so beautiful. Let's cut into one of these so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. Check that out. Just piped full of that delicate pumpkin cream. Love that glaze on top and can't wait to dig in and enjoy these. These eclairs are not only beautiful, but they're also incredibly aromatic. As soon as the pate de chaux dough hits the oven, it fills your whole house with this incredible, you know, pumpkin-y, spicy aroma. It's just incredible. You guys are going to love it. Time to dig in and enjoy these. Mmm. Wow, the flavors of this eclair are just phenomenal. You guys are going to want to make these right now. That pumpkin spice filling is so good. It's so fluffy and creamy. It's got just the right amount of sweetness to it, right amount of pumpkin, right amount of spice, and I love that maple glaze on top. It really brings everything together. If you're looking for the perfect pumpkin spice dessert, this is the one for you. Head down into my video description box. You'll find a link that'll take you over to my blog where you could print off this full recipe, save it to Pinterest, and share it with all your family and friends. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe at home, and I'll see you next time.